The following video contains content captured from NCAA Football 14. The rosters, standings, and stats may not be accurate to the present day. All trademarks belong to their respective parties. What's up everybody, this is John from the High Score headquarters here, and we're trying something a little bit new on the show. We're going to be predicting football games from not just here at South Carolina, but around the nation if a big game arises. This week we're predicting the South Carolina versus Georgia football game here at williams Bryce Stadium. Let's take it to Brian, Stan, and Nick. They join me in the studio to break down this week's game. Good afternoon and welcome to williams Bryce Stadium here for a big matchup between the number 23 South Carolina Gamecocks and division rival Georgia here. Big game here, John, between Todd Gurley and the struggling South Carolina defense. Yes, indeed. The Gamecocks just won the coin toss, and they will be kicking off to start the game. All right, here's the kick. It's a deep one here down for South Carolina. Looks like it might be returnable, and actually it's not. So that's going to be a touchback for Georgia and Harry Dog with quarterback Jacob Park. It looks like that's his name. So Jacob Park, the freshman, gets the start here. For Georgia, very, very interesting call there, Nick, from Mark Rick to start the game. So here comes Georgia. They're going to kind of come out of his back set. He's dropping back. He's looking right, still looking. Plenty of time. Throws it, and it's complete for a first down. 13-yard reception for Chris Connolly as Georgia moves the ball. Connolly's going to be a deep threat for the Dogs. We'll see how they can continue this offense. And now Hudson Mason actually in the game. So that was a illegal there, uh, illegal graphic, I want to say. Third and three now for Georgia. So what do you think Georgia needs to do here? They got to run the ball with Gurley? I, they haven't given to Gurley yet, so we'll see. They're relying on the passing game. So. Yeah, Harry Gurley looks to be a big player in this game. I, I believe Harry Gurley the second, actually. Not the first, not the third. Harry not Gurley the second. Not junior. Not junior. Harry the Gurley. Second. So third and three, see showing out here are the Bulldogs here on this on the Georgia 45-yard line. They're going nuts here at williams Bryce, ladies and gentlemen. They're going nuts. It's third down. Dropping back, <laughs> looking right, looking right, throws left, over the middle, it's caught, and a big hit, but a 15-yard reception from Chris Connolly, and Georgia is now marching down the field in South Carolina territory. Beautiful throw there by Hudson Mason or Harry Mason. This is the offense we were worried about, and the South Carolina defense needs to step up if they want to prevent those passes over the middle. Oh, and look at that showboating there by Georgia. You don't, you're not, not going to like that if you're a South Carolina fan. Absolutely not. And yeah, I think there's a riot going on right now in the student section. Trips right. He's dropping. Looks right. Got That's time. Nice. Now under pressure. He's sacked. He's sacked. He's sacked. Seven yard loss. Down he goes. And South Carolina looks to have the ball. Oh my gosh. It's fourth down, Brian. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, I have been getting ahead of myself all game already. I am so pumped. It is unbelievable. They are going nuts here as they keep re-showing the, the replay time after time after time. And it's going to be a field goal attempt. This is unbelievable. This is a 57-yarder if I'm doing my math correctly, Nick. 58. 58, excuse me. How many kickers does it take to get the length of the field goal right? And, and it is. That's hard. Good. Yeah. What a kick. That would have been good from 80. That, that, that is impressive, Brian. One of the best kickers in the country. That's a John Marshall, Daly kick. Marshall okay. Morgan. And there's a striking resemblance between all the players here, John. Yeah. They, they look very similar. <laughs> it appears to be 11 of the same player on either side. I'm not sure if I, if I'm losing my mind or what's going on And that's here. a catch. I believe that's to Rory Anderson, Busta, as we like to call him. Yes, indeed. Busta Cocky. And he has a four-yard reception for the Gamecocks as Dylan Thompson starts off the game one for one with a four-yard pass. Looks like maybe a run here, John, as South Carolina lines up. Maybe a blitz here being shown by Georgia, taking a lot of time. He's dropping back. He's looking over the middle. Now he rolls right, throws one deep. It's unloaded, and it is intercepted. Intercepted by Harry Dog. I don't know who that is, but he's running down the sidelines. He's drilled, but it's a turnover for South Carolina as Thompson looked to unload one deep down the left sideline. Devin Bowman with the pick. That's not the way the South Carolina offense wanted to start. So Georgia now has the ball. This is a shotgun play here from the 10-yard line, second and 10. Harry Mason, that's a run, that's Gurley, and he is in! Touchdown, Touchdown Bulldogs! We are expecting that from the star, ladies and gentlemen. Gurley will run over the South Carolina defense if he gets some space. See, but now Gurley doesn't look as big as advertised. I mean, when you have, he looks a lot like Hudson Mason. I mean, Hudson Mason, not a big he guy. He also looks exactly Todd, like their left tackle. Todd, Todd Gurley, they all look very similar. It's very unbelievable, actually. And even the kicker, wow, same physique as Todd Gurley. And that is now 10 nothing Georgia. So South Carolina, look at Mark Rick. He's so happy. They're all six foot five Bulldogs. <laughs> I keep saying that tight ends are the most underappreciated receivers in football. You can see why the Georgia defenders just let him go, and he was wide open on the sideline. Yeah, John's actually said that five times today already. It's unbelievable. So that, that's that's a that's a record. But he keeps saying it. 
You have to think it. You're going to go for it. You have to go to Rory Anderson, cocky. You got to go for him. So here comes South Carolina once again out of the gun. They got Mike Davis in the backfield. They split three wide receivers, two left, one right. He drops back, looking over the middle. Now he throws outside. Picked. Let's here it comes. Off. Here he comes down the sideline. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Touchdown. Georgia. Oh, Damian, Damian Swan, Swan with the pick six. And this is going from bad to worse, ladies and gentlemen, here at williams Bryce. Georgia's dominating. In Thompson just left that ball hanging for his receiver. There, no chance for the receiver to come up with it. Easy pick for Swan. In the words of Billy Madison, quit looking at me, Swan. That. That. <laughs> just just reiterate that. Thank you, Stan. Yeah, wh why do you think Thompson's not throwing the ball well, uh, Brian? Do you think it's because of uh, the offensive line? The pass I got to think it's those those like bingo wings on his arms. They're really <laughs> like, they're, they got to be hindering his arm accuracy. So he's going to drop back, looking over the middle. That's a catch, and he is drilled, but Nick Jones holds on to it for a six-yard reception. Nick, so it's a third doing on the field? It's a third and manageable, Nick. How did you have that hit feel? It felt all right. I still got the ball, so. Okay, okay. You didn't drop it like much. against A&M. Hey, Dylan no. Thompson has not had a pass hit the ground yet. Fun fact, he's five for seven, but with two interceptions. Look at that. Take that home. And that is a first down. First down, Carolina. Oh, my gosh. Mike they Davis. have a first down. Mike Davis off the fake quick. He gets. He fights through the D-line, five yards, first down. Looks like Ed Hockley is actually calling this game. He's big. That's a big ref out there. A little bigger than actually Harry Dog. That's, that's actually unbelievable. And that's a long ball. That's going to be with inside the 20-yard line. And that is a oh, what a tackle. Oh. Maybe a horse collar. Horse collar, ladies and gentlemen. No, no flag. No I think flag. that would be a dog collar, dog. not a horse collar. Uh, I mean, he is wearing spikes on the back of his that neck, so that illegal. probably would hurt. That's that might, be that, might that might be. Yeah, I, I think they might want to call the cops. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> First and ten. He's dropping back. He's got a man's pick. Oh, he's he pick. There he goes. He's out. Oh, Carolina. Strike up the band, ladies and gentlemen. South Carolina has a touchdown. Nick, what happened there? Well, it looks like cocky. Made sure that he rushed the quarterback and forced Co the quarterback to make a mistake, and Cocky picked it off. So Cocky and Cocky and Cocky made that play happen. Tag team. Three stars of that play, Cocky, Cocky, and Cocky. But don't forget all the other Cockies. Right, right. You can't. And Cocky just kicked the extra point, and he's got to kick another one here. So here we go. South Carolina found himself down by 10. Big play there for South Carolina as that one will be kneeled down within the end zone for a touchback. As a South Carolina defense making a move here, that's JT Surratt. He's actually uh, he's still playing for the South Carolina Gamecocks. Looks like he's having a nice play there up the middle on the Georgia offensive lineman. Yes, he does. Surratt's the only returning starter from last year's D-line. He's showing his leadership, getting in the backfield, taking Mason down. Yeah, it actually looks like Mason's neck collar might have got into Surratt's neck, and he's actually bleeding profusely right now. It's not very good. Um, but look at him. He's back on the field, unbelievably, as Georgia sets out four wide receivers, one guy in the backfield. Mason drops back. He's under pressure. He's hit, and it's lost the ball, but it's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. So South Carolina's defense, like a flip switched on here in the second quarter, has come up and shown that they can play with Georgia. Don't question the special team play, man. Um, special team. South Carolina has one. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bone set in the backfield. Oh, oh, Sex City! Looks like he just threw him to the ground. He didn't even tackle him. Look at him. They don't blink. They don't They don't blink. It's unbelievable. Watch, they, watch they are so focused. Watch this. He just threw him to the ground. And look at that. Not one blink from any of them. They're so focused on this game, they're not even blinking. It's unbelievable. That is the focus of this South Carolina team and Georgia. They, neither of them blink. It's crazy. Hair doesn't move. Beak doesn't move. Beak doesn't crack. They're it's always smiling. That's a good. That's a positive sign for both teams, though. I, yeah, you know, and I, I didn't like that they were smiling earlier in the game, South Carolina. But you know what? They got to be having some fun out there, Stan. You're absolutely right. You got to have some fun out there playing college football. Todd Gurley with a nine-yard run. Good to see Georgia's going back to the ground. I game. think Todd Gurley needs to go to a dentist. He's got got some teeth he's issues got a horrible there. Underbite. Yeah, really bad underbite for Todd Gurley. Hudson Mason is sacked again. Oh boy. You know, I think this could be a problem for Georgia, as dogs are colorblind. They might not know. Uh, who to block and where to throw it. It's just difficult. Very good analysis, dogs. Stan. You're hired again. That, that That is the best analysis I've heard ever in any game. I like it. Inside information there from Stan Smith. You'll never get anywhere else. Oh, Leonard Floyd once again. You know what? He's probably built the same uh, He's probably built the same as a kicker, but he's just explosive as probably the any defensive lineman in America. America. Probably the world. America. I, what a game here, folks. It's just—it's so nice to be at a football game between two teams that just love each other so much. 
Th there's no animosity between these two teams. They they, they go out for dinner together. They uh, they go out to bowling, and, uh, and then they play football. It's fun. Like a little, like little pick-a-football game. Here we go. Here we go. First and ten. It's going to be a pass, and that's going to be over his head. Oh, Hudson Mason having a little bit of uh, issues like Cocky Thompson is lately. Once again, it's the color blindness. Maybe he was looking for someone in the stands that he thought was his receiver. I think he saw a squirrel in the stands, and that's what happened. He saw it, and he wanted to throw it at it. So a uh, second and ten here for Georgia. He's dropping back, looking, throwing again. And and another. Same oh, that squirrel. It's the, same squirrel. the squirrel is, oh. They, they need to escort that squirrel out of the stadium. It's, it's distracting Hudson yeah, Mason. Guys, guys, I think he was just throwing the ball away because he had no one open. Maybe, maybe, but I, I like to believe that there was a squirrel over there. Yeah, I like the squirrel thing, too. Just there. Deep ball here. Picked. It's picked oh, again. no. He picked him off again. Oh, man, I think it's time to, to bring in another quarterback. I Damian Swan gets his second interception. I say you give that dog a bone. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I see what you did there, Stan. So dog, bone. Nice. Uh, very good, very good. What about good. a treat? What about a ba bacon strip? Dogs also like bacon. It's yeah. bacon! <laughs> so here we go. Now Georgia has a chance, as neither of these teams seem to want to score. I mean, these two teams don't want to score in the second half. It's unbelievable. Stan, what's the biggest thing here from the stats that you're seeing? Well... They have negative nine rushing yards. I'm not a, a brain surgeon, but I believe you want to get positive rushing yards. I, I believe because so. I think you're running backwards. You're getting closer to your own end zone, and you could give up maybe a safety maybe. or a fumble, or maybe. you could run out of the end zone, maybe. out of the stadium, really, and possibly go hit up five points. Right, maybe. yeah. But you don't want to be there during the game. No, of course not. You want to be not. in the stadium. I mean, I, I, would like, I would like a nice cookout milkshake, though, oh, maybe to, oh. during like What's a, your favorite milkshake? Oh, dude, cookies and cream. Cookies and Absolutely. cream. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't go wrong can't with Can't go wrong with cookies and cream. Wrong. And they're really liking to show these halftime stats here. They may be on, been on the screen for the last three minutes. And, oh, is this is, that's Peyton Manning under center. Unbelievably, but he hands off. That's Adrian Peterson. No, no way. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable, folks. I've never seen that happen ever. That a player from an NFL team has played a game. This game should be, this game should be wiped off the map. Unbelievable. Brian, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. No, I I just was looking at my fantasy roster. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So third and one for South Carolina and Georgia here. It's gonna be a big play. That is Mike Davis. First down, Carolina. As they get the ball now inside the 25 yard line of Georgia. Going back to your fantasy. Uh Reference. How did you manage to get Peyton Manning and Adrian Peterson on the same team? I know a guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's incredible. So so now, do you see, you, do you see that hairy dog now taunting on the left? Is he a player? I think that's their mascot, right? Oh, oh, really? He looks very reminiscent of the players. Very, very similar, but he's huh. the mascot. Huh. Him and Hudson Mason strike. I think they only brought 12 people, 12 of their players, so uh, one of them has to be on the sides and cheer for the rest of the 11. So why doesn't Mark Rick look like them all? Huh. Very interesting. We'll have to get back to you on that. We'll, look, we'll, we'll, we'll get to our sources. And I think the security finally realized there are squirrels in the stadium that they needed to clear out because the dogs just... Do all dogs have some form of ADD, and they, they just want to go after, like, the near squirrel. Right, and though, you know what? Those USC squirrels are really, really... They're just so aggressive. They'll you know, I think it's a fact that there are more squirrels on campus than there are students. There are. There are. There's one more squirrel than there are students. 51 ready. On third and one. Dropping back is Thompson, looking right, looking left. He's sacked. Cannot happen there on third down. A big play. And now Elliott Fry will have to come on to tie the game here with a field goal. Sterling Bailey with the sack. Unless Coach wants to go for, I, I doubt he will with this much on the line. We'll see Elliott Fry tie this game up. George, uh, Stan, how do you, how you like that sack there from, from Bailey? I forgot he was on the team. That, <laughs> that, that's incredible. Yeah, right? He sneaks up on you. Yeah. Elliott Fry lining up for a 47-yard field goal, Nick. He true. boots it. This one is good right down the middle. And South Carolina has tied the game 17 unanswered points for the Gamecocks as now with 440 left. I wonder why Cocky and Harry chose the number one. I wonder why. Well, notice that Cocky is 0-1. Zero, zero, one, one. And Harry is just one. So which one came first, 0-1 or 1? Um, in any event, Mike Davis just had a one-yard carry. Look at that. Number one is running rampant here in this in this broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. One, one, one. Three in a row for South Carolina and Georgia. And it's second and nine now for the Gamecocks as they look to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter with 3.30 left in the game. South Carolina coming back. They have three receivers right, one left. That is Mike Davis at, uh, right next to Dylan Thompson. They're going to throw it. Screen is picked off. Oh, no. There he goes. Now the sidelines. Five. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That's, that, is that Thompson's second pick six of the game? That's Thompson's Ryan. second pick six of the game. Fourth interception of the game. Damian Swan <laughs> again, Stan. 
Unbelievable. You know what? He just found that ball like another squirrel or bacon or dog bone or any other of these dog treats that we're talking about. He took it straight to the fire hydrant. I'm running out of dog puns, but this is just an incredible <laughs> showing by the dog defense. You got to think that Dylan Thompson's in the doghouse with with. Oh, with that's Spurrier. the one I forgot about. You got to yep. think he's in the doghouse at this point. Or maybe point. since he plays for the Gamecocks, he could be in the hen house. The hen house, yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You got to think that that might be the backbreaker there for South Carolina. They have time, three timeouts left with 3:21 as they'll get the ball here, but most likely won't be able to return it since we have not seen a return yet all game, and that one's going to sail out of the end zone for a touchback. And Nick Jones, nice play there, buddy. Thank you. I uh, ran down from the press box and caught it real quick. So. Yeah. <laughs> very quick to get back up. No, 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 you're not gashed. You're not out of breath. It's very nice. Yeah, I didn't even take the elevator. You either. didn't? Wow, that's, that's very why impressive. Why haven't you, be, you been doing this for the Gamecocks all game if you're this fast? I want to be clutch when it comes time to it so I get my name in the paper. He wants to put <laughs> the team on his back. That's what he wants to do. They split four receivers, split two on each side. Thompson looking over the middle. Now he's looking. Left. And he's short. Oh, they might want to review this one. I thought he caught it in the end zone. Nick, what do you think? Did you have a touchdown? I think he might have stepped out on the on the one. I don't think he uh, had his feet down in the and crossed the plane. So here we go. Down to this. Fourth and goal from the one the yard line. It's a run. He didn't oh! get it. He didn't get it. Oh no! They tried for the fullback rush and he comes up <laughs> short. What a play there from Georgia! As now South Carolina's defense has to step up and make a play here. They have three timeouts. But they need to stop Georgia here. He's coming out of his own end zone. They're coming again, for a Ryan. block here. They're, they got to be thinking they're coming for a hey, block. There's cocky here. on the sideline. Blocked it! Oh! He blocked it! He blocked it! it. That's a it safety. Was safety! What a play! Chaz Elder! Oh boy, and the Gamecocks now have a chance to, to, to win the game! Oh, what a play by Chaz Elder! That's a big difference of hands there. Notice that the Georgia punter fell on the ball to only force a safety. If we had gotten on that ball, it would have been a touchdown <coughs> tie game. Right, and you know what, Stan? You got to you gotta be shaking your boots here if you're Georgia. They're all shaking right now. Uh, Mark Richt, uh, his, his uh, tanning bed uh, tan is now wearing off. Right. It's, it's sweating Mark off. Mark has lost control. He's, he's just, I don't, I don't know what he's thinking right about now. Do you think the Bulldogs are shaking as badly as a Bulldog during a thunderstorm right now, or do you think that it might be a little less severe? Hmm. They are in, a, in the lead, but I would say that they're, they're definitely shaking. They're barking at their owner, just, that would be Mark Rick, to uh, let them out of the house, you know yeah. what I mean? Dylan Thompson cannot throw one. He has 47 seconds and no zero timeouts. timeouts. No he timeouts. has to get in the end zone on this drive. So this is big for South Carolina. Thompson dropping back. Can't get sacked here. He's looking. Throwing one deep. Unloads it. It's picked. He picked it. Oh, oh my goodness. No. What an interception. And that'll do it. Thompson throws his fifth pick of the game, Nick Jones. And what went wrong there? He just underthrew him. And notice how every turnover the Gamecocks have have all been interceptions. As the clock strikes midnight on the South Carolina Gamecocks, Georgia rolls into williams Bryce Stadium and defeats the South Carolina Gamecocks 24-19. Stan, what do you think the difference maker was here? The difference maker in the game was definitely the defense. They came out explosive firing on all cylinders. At the end of the day, it was the turnovers that uh, proved to be the big difference. I think uh, Damian Don't Look At Me Swan uh, is the player of the game with the two pick sixes that turned out to be critical. You don't want to overlook the play of Harry Dog though. He had a very good game. As oh, well. Harry Dog was uh, amazing in this game. I don't difference maker. The difference maker. Yep. But South Carolina drops their second game of the season in SEC play. Gamecock fans, you can see them not very happy. Georgia is ecstatic here as they are just literally dog piling. No pun intended on themselves here as South Carolina. It looks like Cocky is just, oh boy, he, he's crying. And there there it is. Damian, Damian Swan, Swan had four interceptions. And that is it for the Gamecocks. What do you think they need to do next week to win a game? They, they need to tighten down on their offense. We were saying before the game we were worried about the defense. The defense showed up. It was the offense that didn't. Right. So South Carolina and Georgia, that's it for all of us here, folks. For Nick Jones, Stan Smith, and John Dowdy, I'm Brian Principe. Once again, Georgia 24, South Carolina 19 here from williams Bryce Stadium as Georgia improves to 2-0 and South Carolina drops to 1-2 and 0-2 and and in SEC play as we'll take you out here with some plays of the game here from williams Bryce Stadium. <laughs>